going on you guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog and another episode of ctg clutch thought will go uh today's a special video because we have a special guest to introduce i'll show you him in just a minute and we've got two kawasaki vulcan s's this time his is a 2020 really wow yeah it's kia right there honked his horn at us and we're standing like right here in the road and he was like that guy's a douche Anyway, with that being said, <laughs> let's get back to this. Um, yours is 2020, right? 2021. 2021, sorry. I was saying mine was a 21 for some stupid reason. But yeah, he's got the 2021 Vulcan S with the 22. I'll show you what all he's done to his. He's got a speaker system right here he's hooked up. Got a extra storage compartment up here. And he's got a back seat like I don't have on mine. I need to get mine. But, uh, Thank you, I wanted to show you all the sound system started up on it. Bluetooth is connected. This is a sound system panel. And if you all hate country music, unsubscribe. <laughs> no, not really. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. How loud is it? Just for copyright, I don't want it to keep on playing. Too long. Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah, I don't want to play something too long. I don't want to get copyrighted, but uh, yeah, pretty cool song. And uh, if you want to be on camera, here's Josh. Now, if I've never said my name, I'm pretty sure I have, but I'm Austin. And somebody else is out there revving. Anyway, we're gonna hop on these bikes. Uh, I gotta get my gear on right fast, fire up the GoPro, and uh, get at it. And we're gonna take some back roads. Uh, going south of here and then uh, I'm going to start heading back and do another uh, nighttime footage because my last one was a big washout. Uh, so all that stuff that you all seen in my last video, unfortunately, I have tried to record like 2.7K and uh, it's 120 frames a second and half the video went into slow motion automatically and I don't know why. So I'm going to do that when I get back and with that being said, let's go ahead and get geared up and get on the road. All right, we are off and rolling. We gotta stop and get some fuel first. Uh, I was hoping we got the light. Oh well. Oh, well, if this traffic ever go, we can stop. We can get out of here. Finally! Holy crap! It was like non-stop traffic. All right. Next stop after this, we just had some food at Roosters. First time he's been there. I love that place. And we get to go to get some fuel. Let's go ahead and just stop right here at Thornton's. Ooh. Do what? I appreciate it. <laughs> That's what I always use. Yeah, I need to grab a towel real fast because I just got that all over my bike. Yeah, any towels over here? Dag on it. Son of a. Oh well, I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> I don't like getting gas on my paint because it can like deteriorate. All right, folks, we're all fueled up and about to hit the road. We got a nice little back road we're gonna take that's not my normal. So it should be kind of fun. Going down Dixie Highway and heading towards West Point. We're gonna take a back road that leads towards uh, Shepherdsville, Kentucky. My lord, this traffic is awful today. All right, you guys. I had to stop and start this too many times to really keep up with it, but we're gonna turn right here on Rockford. Go towards the Greenbelt Highway because traffic through here on Dixie Highway is just absolutely insane. It's gonna take us forever to get to where we're going, so. We're gonna try to cut this trip up some and go this way instead. Oh my lord, and it's still bad through here. What in the heck? And then we turn down that road and there's some flashing lights down there. It's like, we can't win for losing. No matter which way we go, we're getting stuck. It's like, how hard is it to get from one side to the other, you know, with 
different crap going on so thankfully i know this area what uh, area a little bit so i can at least get us down because all these roads right these roads right here are all boring and uh just want to give you all something to actually watch instead of just the same old crap all the time so yep just stop signs are for other people right i'm so fed up with traffic for this today this week this weekend it's all i have dealt with non-stop oh my lord people need to start to use protection or something keep these babies from popping out i'm ready to have a road freed up as long as this guy up here doesn't stop us i think we should be kosher I almost don't care if he did. If he threw that stop sign around, I'd probably still go anyway. What are they doing here that's got everything so jacked up? Uh, they're tearing a yard up. Getting their... F oh, okay. It's part of the road, too. <laughs> Who else likes that song? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I promised I wouldn't do it again. I'm not gonna do it. Hey, right, maybe now we can actually get to the Greenbelt Highway. Woo! Someone's smoking the reefer. Woo! Man, that was rough. That was like pure skunk, man. I don't know what they're growing out of, but they need to stop. Boy, I hope we can make it down here before the sun goes down, because it's already almost seven o'clock. Try to enjoy a little bit of this road first. There we go. Finally have a little bit of freedom. Uh-oh, cops up here. <laughs> Good Lord, what happened now? Last time I seen a cop sitting up here, somebody flipped and hit a pole or something. What in the world is going on? Ouch. I think someone still hit a pole. I think somebody wants to race. You want to try that again? <laughs> I think it would be a fair race, honestly. Same bike, so why not? Alright, let's do this at a fair fight this time. Oh, I thought it was going to turn green. This should be interesting. 21 Kawasaki Vulcan S versus a 22 Kawasaki Vulcan S. Only difference is the colors. in the neutral for whatever reason. Ah. It's like popping on me for some odd reason. It wasn't, uh, I don't know if the, the wheel kept on slipping. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> that was weird. It's like, it's like the, the wheel lost traction. It would slip on me or some, something like that. I don't know what it was. Let's see what you got there, boss man. I think this is the first ride he's had with anybody together, so it's kind of fun for both of us. Oh, you could have come on over. All right, I think we're finally getting back to Dixie Highway. Had to cut out all that crappy traffic we had. It was horrible. I don't remember the name of this road that we're getting on. 40 or something? I don't remember. Don't turn right, don't die. You would turn right. I knew they were going slower, so I didn't really want to have to deal with that. But that's okay, because I'm going to just go around. Honestly, there's probably other places that we go to that, you know, get a full day's ride in and then check things out. Uh, there's some stuff in, you know, my neck of the woods and stuff in his neck of the woods and then stuff in neither of our necks of the woods. Um, but it's getting a little bit later at night and uh, I don't know when the sun's actually going to get hit down. I think it's going to be about 40 minutes from now. So I just kind of prefer to kind of go back down to where he's at or, you know, halfway and uh, that way I'll just ride the interstate the whole way back because I don't have to worry about deer as much on the interstate. So this is kind of a short trip, but at the same time, uh, I mean, it's a short trip for you all to watch. It's a long trip for me because, you know, getting to this destination is another thing, but it's something that I can put in for today and uh, hopefully I can get tonight in as well. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out for now and all this stuff. Turn it back on right before we turn down this road we're supposed to get on. Alrighty, I think we're about to head on this road here in a second. I think this is right after we pass this hill right here. Yeah, this is it. 
at this liquor store. Alright, so let's go down through here and check it out. Should be nice and curvy. Oh, we got a freaking horse trailer in front of us. Don't tell me that's gonna kill the trip. <laughs> it might not, but I don't know. I don't have high hopes at this point. We'll see. I'm almost certain I'm already catching up to him, so. I'm not gunning it, but still. Gonna go for a pass, but I gotta make sure he keeps up with me. I'm surprised this horse trailer is actually going this quick. It's the, cur the turns and curves and stuff I'm worried about. Knob Creek Gun Range, I am not a fan of that place. Too crowded. See, this is the part where I wanted to pass him up at because I know he'd slow down these curves. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. Yes, here we go. Either I keep on losing traction or something's choking me up. Not sure what it is, but when I go full throttle like that and it gets up in the higher RPM, it acts like it's choking or slipping. It almost feels like it's slipping and recatching traction. I ain't sure. I've just never really experienced that before, so. It could be where it's getting a little cooler outside, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, George. I don't know. I'm glad he kept up with me, though. That's a good thing. Hopefully this wind isn't too loud for you all. Like, I know you can hear my voice. I tested it out earlier. Uh, I mean, it's not the best in the world, but it's far from the worst. I'm just hoping the wind, it's wind itself, like when I'm not talking and stuff, it's not overpowering. It's probably good I don't have a drop tracker right now because 70 is probably my minimum speed I'd go through here. I hit my brake down to about 65 right then, so I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping I don't get turned around there. Mr. Copper come back around me. Because I was doing like 75 when I passed him up. This is a nice little road. This isn't something we've taken before on the vlog, so... Nice little, uh, you know, just different scenic. It's different, different scenery. There we go. It says 50, so I'm good to take this at like 60. We're good. I'm only worried about slowing down if it says like 20 or something. 20, 30 miles an hour, then I'll be like, oh, okay, I might need to slow it down just a hair. That one says 35, so let's back it off a hair here. <laughs> you know, I guess that's what I get from my last video when I said, well, not my last video, but one of my more recent videos of how this bike seemed like it was castrated and I said I was frustrated and stuff. Um, I mean, it did, like, try to lose traction on me, just getting up in speed, so... Maybe that's the way, to, uh, the bike's way of telling me to shut up and enjoy the ride. <laughs> just... I mean, it, it don't freak me out enough, and it's not like a scary thing, but it does, it does seem to slip. I miss like the really curvy roads. I, I need to take this thing to the dragon so bad. Eventually I will. But I'd just rather it be a like I don't know. I want my fiance to go with me. But all the same, if she does go with me, I'd probably freak her out on that thing, so I don't know. Like crap, you know? What do I do? I need to get some warmer gloves because it's starting to get a little nippy outside. My hands are getting a little cold. This is uh, 
odd. I haven't noticed this feeling since I've had the bike. Well, not since I first got it anyway. Summertime going away and it's definitely showing. Oh man, come on. I wanted to get past them before I went through here. Cause they're gonna kill our ride on us. They're gonna kill our ride. Dang it. That's all right, there's gonna be other days. This ain't like Glacier, it's not 30 hours from home, so I can come out here again. I mean, I probably wouldn't go a whole lot faster than them, but I'd probably do it like 50 instead of, you know, 38. Well, I think that's all for this mountain. It was a nice little ride. It's enjoyable. Just a little short, that's all. But when you're in a crowded area like this, you can't expect it to be freed up and all to you, you know? Sometimes you just gotta shut up, sit back, and just enjoy the ride, and that was enjoyable. Did that say Hippie's Market? Maybe I read that wrong. I thought it said Hippie's Market. <laughs> oh, Lord, to go in there and they've all got tie-dye shirts on and... Afros and some shaggy, straight, uh, you know, shaggy hair and oh, oh my lord, that I, I come up out of my seat. I wasn't expecting that. And I literally come up probably three inches off my seat. All right, I'll get back to y'all here shortly. This is all kind of a boring part of the ride, so we're already getting somewhat towards Shepherdsville. Ugh. Well, sir, do you know any other spots? I think the right, right down that way, or uh, look around and drive back up that way a little bit. I'll let you leave this time. This is your neck of the woods. More, more of yours. Because I don't know where to go through here. I don't know. I know Shepherdsville some, but not well. Yeah, I figured it was his, his turn to go for a bit. Plus, I want to see how he rides without somebody leading him. That is cool. <laughs> I like the lights on that little scooter that he had. Oh yeah, welcome to a part of Shepherdsville, Kentucky. I don't know if that was downtown or not, but <laughs> I don't know what that was. So if that was downtown, hi Shepherdsville. Oh gosh. These bumps in my butt don't work out too well. Ah, oh, your woman's gonna be mad. His helmet's on the back of the bike. Don't worry, I won't tell her. Just don't tell her you're watching my channel. Oh, never mind. We didn't take the interstate. We took <laughs> on the interstate. He, he uses it, not on the uh, not on the back roads, I guess. I'm kind of the same way. I don't usually use mine on the back roads unless I'm, well, recording like this, you know. Hi! <laughs> I don't like his bike. It's, uh, it's pretty. I like the, the blue and black and white on it. I'm not... I haven't seen the newest ones in person with that army green it looks like on there. Some kind of green. Um, I've not seen them in person online. I can't say I'm the biggest fan but they might be a whole lot better looking in person. So far, I like, I like the coloration of mine probably the best. But his does not look bad, I like his. I like how his rims are blue too, as you can see there. I'll do a montage here after a while of them. If it's not too dark to get one. Yeah, he's more ballsy than I thought. Well, this is a nice little road. It's got a couple curves in it. Let's see how long it is. I don't remember ever being down through here. You can't tell I'm a curve junkie. Is that an apartment complex or what? No, that's a factory, I think. 
Wait a minute. No, I know what that is. That's part of the uh, the whiskey distillery, the Jim Beam, the Jim Beam plant. Yeah, it's part of the Jim Beam. We're going towards Bardstown. That's what it is. Yeah, I told you I don't know this. Uh, says James, yeah, James Beam Dis Distilling Company. This had more curves in it than I thought it would have. We're not gonna go towards Bowers Town. Okay. Making a left goes towards there and making a right goes back towards the interstate. That might be what we're doing is calling it a day. We'll find out here in a moment. This has been a fun little ride. I mean, for something short trip to throw into the end of a Friday night, I've enjoyed this. It's just not often I have somebody else to ride with either, so. Hopefully we can do this more often. Yeah, going back over here starts going towards E-Town, Radcliffe and E-Town, so I don't think I'm going to be going all the way there tonight, though. I think there's a little space up here that we can pull off the side of the road on the left-hand side. Might stop there. probably uh, do a little montage of our bikes right quick and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a leak and then probably start heading back but what's up <laughs> I feel this might be a good stopping point for the night right on because if not it's gonna get too dark yeah, that's more roads <laughs> farther farther oh yeah I mean there's a lot more just like you said it goes too far down and we started too late in the day for that, but uh, I mean, for what we had, that's a good ride. Yeah, I like cruising country roads, man. That was a that was a good little fun little ride. I'm gonna go inside and take a leak, and then I come back out and I figure I'd do some a montage or whatever of the bikes, and then I'm gonna start heading back, I guess, so I can catch Louisville's as it's starting to get dark, and get my uh, my washed out video. <laughs> All right, you guys, we've pretty much stopped at our last uh, little destination tonight at the gas station here. It's getting a little dark. I'm going to start heading back home. But first of all, I wanted to get a quick montage since it's a little darker outside and I can, you know, throw my lights on and stuff. And uh, So here we go. I'll do a little montage, throw some music in there. And then after that, I'll uh, end this right quick and I'll probably go back to Louisville and check out those nighttime lights. So, yeah, enjoy. All right, y'all, we're back at the house. Uh, we actually did the recording about a day and a half ago with me and Josh going out for a ride. And I had planned on uh, going through downtown Louisville right after the ride and getting the night lights and whatnot through downtown. I think it looks a lot cooler down there at night than it does in daytime. And um, I still have yet to get that on video. But anyway, my GoPro, for some odd reason, decided it was gonna start recording from the media mod uh, mic instead of my internal mic. So my audio, um, it didn't pick it up. All it picked up was wind. Um, and, and just, I, I'm, I'm already aware that the the popping and the crappy audio that y'all had in this video, I am deeply sorry for that. I, there was nothing I can do at that point. Um, I had cut all the furs off of my uh, dead cat that's on the microphone because it was itching my nose and stuff where it was so close to my, my mouth and my nose. Um, don't ever do that. That's a, that's a horrible thing. Don't, don't cut the furs off your dead cat. I, I should have known better. 
But anyway, I ordered another one. It's already in. It's sitting in on my bedroom dresser right now. Um, next time I do a vlog, the video quality should be back to par. It should be good, fantastic all over again. Um, I just have to figure out a way to push it more against my helmet to where it's not you know, up against my nose. Next video, guys, we're going to go ahead and we have another accessory coming for this bike. I have not seen anybody actually um, put this accessory on their bike on YouTube ever i've seen a couple videos with them already installed saying hey i've got this accessory and i like this got this i've got it coming and i'll probably do a video of the installation so be uh, on the lookout for that i'll just give you a small hint not gonna tell you what it what what it is but you'll guess it anyway it's not for me it's for my fiance so with that being said you'll kind of get the idea that this is gonna look a little bit different back in here yeah oh yeah and i got her all cleaned up she was a mess whenever i took her out for the ride but she's all cleaned up and shining good i gotta do the wheels a little bit more but other than the wheels um it's all good looking i will get this nighttime shot for you all soon when i can i'll get it and i apologize that it hasn't happened yet but with that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here before i ramble on and uh you all go ahead if you like the video like it uh if you want to comment on anything besides the audio i know the audio was terrible so sorry um Give me your comment. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, especially if you want to see more of uh, Josh on the channel because we're going to plan some more rides together eventually. We had a pretty good time. So you all have a great rest of the weekend. You all have a great next week, and I will see you all on the next video. Take care. Peace.